Good evening, pot pickers. I hope you are well. Saturday evening. Uh, we are now just after 10 p.m., so London calling will be just uh, in around a couple of hours. Um, so, just wanted to share with you a couple of cigars that I got, um, and perhaps we'll be doing some videos on in the near future. So, my son has just been away. He went to Spain, and he brought me back some cigars, which was very nice of him. I mean, I've got to pay for them, but still, it was still nice of him to get them for me. Um, first off... We got a a box of Hori de Monterey Flor Extra Fina. Um, these are basically like a short robusto or robusto. What does it say that? They're from uh, 2020. It looks like August 2020. I've already had one from or two possibly. And it's always wonderful carrying out a bundle like that. Just an amazing sight. But it's got a lovely aged um, cigar aroma. This, it's only probably a year and a half to two years. But they're already smelling great. Um, I've said this before, 2020 um, cigars. Very possibly two years older than that. I'd heard, I don't remember where I heard this, I think it was from one of the uh, tobacco stores in central London. Um, and one of the guys in there told me that unofficially um, that a lot of the cigars sat on shelves in Cuba for a couple of years during COVID because there was a shortage of cedar in which, uh, for which to use um, to make the boxes. So uh, and if you are a Cuban cigar smoker in London or any of the other uh, countries around the world that smoke Cubans, you would have seen a shortage, without a doubt. Um, because they didn't have the cedar to, to ship them in, so he says. So a lot of the cigars with 2020 dates on the box are actually from 2018 and 2019. So what you're getting is cigars which are already a few years old. And the aroma on these, really, does indicate a couple of years, I would say. They've got a really nice, musty dusty aroma you know that rich tangy dusty aroma that you get from cuban cigars um so i have already smoked a couple of these but i'm still gonna do a video um, because i haven't done a video on this vitola so it says on the band here on the bow petit robusto which is basically what it is i think it's a three and a half or three and a three quarter inch um 550 ring gauge i'll get the exact dimensions when i do the video um, but um, I can say that the ones that I've had were really very nice and I'm going to be taking one out with me tonight for uh, to have later on I'm going out to the workshop shortly to continue uh, a bent not a bent, uh, uh, an author which is looking really good so far um, so, and these are the other cigars you've got me all Cuban So we have three Ras, or otherwise known as a Ramon Ionis, specially selected. So it's a robusta sized from Ramon Ionis. The aroma on these is a bit fresher. Um, so three of those. And we have a very, very classic, famous cigar, which is the Epicure number two from Hoya de Monterey. Two two boss ones. And they also, they have, the aroma is very fresh. Probably not wise to smoke these yet. So two of those. We also have, which I'm quite excited about, because I haven't had one for a long time, and that's the Magnum 54. This is a 54 ring gauge by probably four and a half inches, something like that. So, so it's like a fat robusta. Uh, it's just shy of five inches. And bringing up the rear, last but certainly not least, which I'm pretty excited about too, is this limited edition Partigas from 2020. Um, I've forgotten what it's called. It's La something, I think. La... I can't remember. But anyway, so 
I've done videos of the specially selected. I may do another one. We shall see. I'm not sure if there's going to be much of a point doing that because they do smell quite fresh. Um, the Magnum 54 I've certainly done. Um, but I will definitely be doing one of these shortly, even though I have smoked them already. And I'll definitely do a video, all being well, of this one when I get to smoke it. So the date on it is 2020, so it's certainly got... And they use aged leaf as well. You can see the wrapper is quite a bit darker because they use more of a closer to a um, Maduro kind of colour for the limited editions, for most of them anyway. And they're supposedly five years aged in leaf in the special editions, the limited editions. This uh, Limitada. Officially, I've seen varying um, descriptions, some saying three to five, some saying five. Um, I'm, I'm not sure, but anyway, so those are some of the videos which will hopefully be coming to the channel very soon. Well, I don't know when they'll be coming. I say very soon, but it doesn't always work out to be very soon. But hopefully at some point in the near future. Okay, well, that's it for now. Oh, I think I put the... Uh, where the the what's the one that I'm taking with me tonight? There is hanging there on the bottom. That one. Really nice. It's funny, I used to be completely against not against, but I used to not smoke quite the Monterey and Romeo and Juliet. I used to find them too mild. Nowadays I really favour them. I really, really enjoy smoking them. And I don't really enjoy so much the really strong ones anymore. So there we go. All right. Catch you on the next one.